Okay. Yeah, uh, we don't have a leader. Yeah. We don't have a leader. This is a group thing. And uh, all she is, she was asked move by closer, the people. Move closer, please. She was asked by the people to read this statement. So uh, that's what she's going to do today. She's going to read that statement to you guys. Okay. Let start. One from 44 of Gayara da Goa. The Gahunji or Gwenyo, the Rodinoshona Ume, the women are the progenitors of the soil of our nation and caretakers of the land, water, and air on behalf of the Rodisko de Sotaje, the coming faces, and all people. Gayara da Goa provides that we must speak on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. On October 7th, the women sent a notice of objection to the city of Montreal. We have not received a response. The city of Montreal is planning to dump 8 million liters of raw, untreated uta, including medical, industrial waste, into Ganaya Terdawana Umwe. It is our great river of life forever as designed by creation. This notice is our warning to the city of Montreal to stop dumping waste that is toxic to our lands, life, and waterways. The temporary obstruction on Thursday, October 15th, is to emphasize our objection to this environmentally destructive action. Ohneganos, the precious liquid that sustains all life, is being threatened by ignorance and monetary concerns. The release of the equivalent of 2,600 Olympic-sized swimming pools will result in unknown contamination and multi-generational devastation of the entire ecosystem. As Rodina Shona Umwe, we have a responsibility to, pr to protect Ganyatar Nawana Umwe. We ask everyone to stand together. We come to you with the gentleness of a feather, which we hope will be accepted. Should you not respond reasonably, you leave us no alternative but to take necessary action to convince you. There has been no commitment to not dump. We would like the mayor to take responsibility to preserve our waterways. It's gonna. Yeah, that's it. You know, so, anybody for like a question period? Can somebody make a statement? Yeah. All right. Questions? Uh, I'll do English. Okay. All right. When you say. You'll have no choice but to take necessary action. What actions are you talking about? Um, that question I, I can't answer. Um, I prefer not to answer. We don't have an action plan prepared, but um, if it comes down to it, we know what we're going to do, and that's it. Um, in, in the press release, it said that there was a um, it said there was an intention to speak today and afterwards block they do a temporary block of uh, nearby train tracks. Uh, what do you make of that? Because right now you're saying that there there, there is no plan. Well, there, there's no plan for afterwards as the alternative. Like, um, can you answer more clearly? Um, I think that's a question we should not answer. Closer, right closer, now because yeah. we uh, we can't answer that right now. Yeah. We're here. We're here today. We're here. We're giving today. a. We're 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 informing Mayor Coder that this is unacceptable. We want him to take an altern uh, an alternative route to the dumping. They can do it. They have the funds to do it. The problem is money. And to us, we're protecting our river, and money is not our concern. Our, ge our future generations are our concern. Can you talk about why maybe the river is so important to y'all? Well, our life is on that river. We, um, we lost part of it when the seaway was built. We fish, we um, recreational activities, we swim. That's our water, that's our drinking water. That's, um, that's our life, that river is our life. So you drink the, the water of the river? Well, no, we don't drink the water of the river. We don't drink it. We can't drink it. It's, and there's reasons why we can't drink that water. And it's because of all the dumping from all the cities around. And this is why there, this, this is why the issue needs to be carried and awareness to all our neighbors, the communities, the uh, the, the cities around, and uh, to aware. And that's the reason why we don't drink that water. We were able to drink it at one point, but now it's too polluted to even. Uh, Montreal tested for high bacteria levels and E. coli levels, I mean, what does that tell you? It's toxic. It's turning into a weapon. It's unhealthy, it's unclean, it's dangerous. And right now, it's not just us that's a concern. There's all Sorel, Trois-Rivières, they're all getting concerned about the whole river. The Mi'kmaqs, the Hurons, uh, it comes far. It goes all the way down to Vermont, New York. Like uh, A lot of people are getting involved with this. So today, we did do the media, we release what we have to say, and that's pretty much all we can say from now on. Will we start in French? You were doing French? 
Euh, je peux parler un petit peu en français. Si vous voulez euh, je... vous approcher, parce que c'est vraiment difficile, on n'entend okay. pas votre message. Euh, je peux vraiment pas euh, relire qu ce qu'elle a dit en anglais, parce que bon, euh, c'est Non, mais je vais vous poser des questions. Donc, pour quelle raison est-ce que le fleuve est important pour vous et que vous faites cette déclaration aujourd'hui? On fait cette déclaration-là parce que elle c'est toujours repoussé, puis il euh, n'y a pas de, de stop, c'est juste remis à plus tard. Mais on n'en veut pas de remis plus tard. On veut une solution de suite. Euh, question de remettre et remettre. C'est clair que Goddard, il dit qu'il va euh, faire le déversement des, euh, des eaux. Alors, on est ici pour faire ce statement-là. Puis, euh, on encourage les voisins, les villes à côté de faire la même chose. Qu'est-ce que représente le fleuve pour votre communauté? Le, le fleuve, euh, on a des, euh, les Iroquois ils ont des pas. Dépendant de la rivière, c'est des fishermen, des, des pêcheurs. On, dé, on dépendait pour la pêche, ça, ça pêchait deux trois fois par jour. Il y avait des pères qui sortaient sa, sa rivière pour pêcher, pour soutenir leur famille, leurs enfants. Puis, mais juste les Mohawks, on a la misère avec l'eau, avec notre propre environnement d'eau. Mais là, on, on est concerné avec le fleuve Saint-Laurent qui va nous affecter tout le monde. Pas juste Kanawaki, mais affecter tout le monde. Vous êtes affecté de quelle manière? De quelle manière? On a l'environnement le, le, Québec, je pense que c'est lui qui avait dit qu'on allait être euh, des objets flottants. Il va y avoir trois conséquences. Il va y avoir le, les objets flottants, les, euh, les eaux des médicaments, euh, des hôpitaux. Et euh, le troisième, c'était l'industrial waste. Mais vous êtes situé plus haut que les déversements, donc en quoi c'est vous touché puisque le courant descend? Parce que depuis que Mère Gardaille a amené ça euh, en avant, là on a, on a entendu avec Laval, on a entendu avec Longueuil, euh, là ça même Détroit, ils commencent à, à annoncer qu'ils font eux-mêmes les euh, déverser, euh, déverser leurs eaux utilisées dans le fleuve. Alors c'est vraiment un, un concern pour tout le monde. Euh, une autre question. Qu'est-ce que vous entendez faire si euh, le maire fait simplement reporter le déversement au lieu de l'annuler? Ça, je ne peux pas répondre à cette question-là, encore une fois. Et euh, ce statement-là qu'elle a dit aujourd'hui, ça doit aller directement au maire Godard. Et euh, c'est tout ce que je peux répondre. On a besoin de son attention là, là, que c'est sérieux. I just have a few more questions in English. Yeah. Uh, just to be clear, when you say that you're not, sh when you talk about the um, the action plan after your speech, what's next today? Is there something else? Are you going to block the train tracks today? That we can't answer. We are going. Uh, we're waiting for Godair's answer. That's what we're doing right now. So that's but, all I could say. But he's waiting for an answer from Environment Ministry. <laughs> Yes, regardless of their answer, re regardless of their answer, he's still pushing the dump into the river. Regardless if he's told yes or no, he's still pushing it. So it's not sure. You presume? No, he is still pushing it. We oh, so you're, you're so you're saying that until the Nicola answers, yeah. following. There's nothing that will be done? Yeah, well, like she said in her statement, uh, our woman did send out uh, a letter to America there. We didn't get no reply from him. So now we need a reply. We need to know. And, we're, and, I, we're, hate, and I hate to seem like I'm like I'm asking the same question over and over again. It's just in the press release it said that following the speech, there would be a temporary blocking of the, the, CP, the CP tracks. And I'm just asking, until Coder answers your letter or this latest speech, You will not block the CP track behind you? I can't answer that question, sorry. <laughs> uh, one more question. Indigenous people are across uh, across the north are standing up against industry, yes. against environmental destruction, protecting rivers, protecting lands. Yes. Do you see your action today as part of a move, larger movement of indigenous people uh, taking over the rights and responsibilities? And it's so why? Well, that's what we're trying to do, not just with the original. Everybody, everybody uses that water. Uh, people that go both, the people that kayak or canoe, <laughs> everyone's affected by this. So it's not just an original question or issue. It's everyone. And my last question would be, is your next move potentially related to the CP tracks? And if so, why? Can't answer that right now, because I'm sorry. I know you're looking for shoes, <laughs> but we're not answering. <laughs>
Sorry. <laughs> this is where it stops. <laughs> Wait, I ain't buying you. You know how soon you're going to press this? Come on, no more. Exactly, they're trying to get that. My, my first question, um, how much time are you giving Billy Hadel to answer this time before moving on to the next course of action, whatever that may be? We can't answer that question right now. we got to go and uh, discuss. Okay. And my second question is, um, I mean, as far as putting pressure on Billy Hadel, and there's a lot of media here. Um, don't you think that by revealing what your plans are that it would have more of an impact in terms of pressuring him into like giving into your demands at this essentially? No. That's and good. I really I can't it. answer that either. Hey, I just want to make it clear with the media right now is that we're not going to answer any more questions. And uh, if there's anything, don't worry. We all have your contacts, your numbers. We will call you and we will let you know. But from now on, no more interviews. No more questions.